So uh, I have cleverly, off camera, sketched in our final um, painting. Um, the, the drawing is about 99% done. Um, I wanted to talk a bit about this to show you, although this looks a little detailed, if you look in closely to this, you can see it's not that detailed compared with the, um, the actual scene. There's a hundred thousand more windows, cornices, columns, flags, you name it, going on there. I've edited all that out and tried to be true to myself, true to my uh, little value diagram, and only show the basic shapes. I wanted the outlines of the buildings to be somewhat recognizable, but I'm going to treat the buildings themselves just as shapes. Um, not as articulated, delineated, or rendered uh, objects, but just as shapes. Um, so there's really not that much there. I, I would recommend those of you who work in this style at all to try to draw as little as you can on the final paper. Um, let your brush do a lot of the drawing for you. Uh, I try to do that as much as I can. The more you draw, the tighter you tend to get, the more rigid your final painting is going to get. Uh, that's you know up to you. You may want that look. I'm going, and as I say, there's no right or wrong way to do it. I'm going for a more spontaneous, more fluid, more washy, um, informal look. So I wanted to say again that I've translated that onto this, and I've kept true to myself first line I drew was my horizon line. And if you'll notice, as I said earlier, all the people, wherever they are on the sidewalk, far away, closer up to us, all of their heads, their eyes, are on that uh, horizon. So to draw people in a view, I wanted to talk briefly about that. So if you're drawing your building in a freehand, which I did a very freehand, sketchy way, you want your people, your cars, and every other thing to be drawn in the same manner. So everything looks um, of a piece, as one whole. Um, this is another way to go about it. You can do a painting where there's one area of really tight detail and everything else flows away from that. Uh, but you would only do that if you want the viewer's eye to focus, say, in right here, and everything else not to count. That's not exactly the kind of painting this is. This is an overall composition, so I want everything to belong, everything to fit in. So as I said, I've drawn most everybody in here. A little note about drawing people. I'm reasonably good at drawing scale figures, but to keep them loose, sketch-based, that's critical. And all you need to do, or at least the main advice I could give, is to make sure that the human heads uh, on the horizon, yes, but are approximately, they look humanoid. They're not too elongated this way or that, and that they attach to the body. So if you get a head that looks about right, if you attach it to the shoulders, and the shoulders always slope down slightly and stick out an appropriate amount from the body, that's really pretty much all you need to draw. Everything else, almost like from a coat hanger, can hang down from that. Really not necessary and actually a bad idea to come down here and get too detailed in the lower portions of the body if you're doing a sketch kind of painting, which I am. As long as you get a recognizable top part of the body, the, the rest of it can just sort of fade out. It's actually quite appropriate. Um, another thing I like to do, why I'm not drawing all of the details in these buildings, is I think it approaches a piece of art as opposed to illustration a little more when you leave things out. Mm -hmm.